Hi everyone, and welcome again to Nettle, the go-to place to learn about business, finance, economics, and much, much more. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell notification button below so that you never miss fresh videos and tutorials you might be interested in. Many thanks to our current Patreon supporters and YouTube members for making this video possible, and I'd also greatly appreciate if you consider supporting us as well. So please check the link in the description or click the join button below for more details. My name is Sava, and today we're investigating a quite simple yet very often overlooked statistical significance test, which allows you to check whether the correlation coefficients coming from two independent samples are meaningfully different. And uh, this particular test is very commonly used in areas like sociology, linguistics, however, quite overlooked in business and finance. So I would like to bridge the gap today. And applications of this test can be numerous. For example, you can check whether two different stocks are correlated to their respective benchmark with the different uh, tightness of the relationship. You can see whether for two different companies, the correlations between earnings and dividend payouts are meaningfully different, suggesting a difference in a dividend policy, for example, and so on and so forth. However, here we've got just some uh, random uh, data sets. First data set consists of uh, 20 observations and the second consists of 15. And we are interested in correlations between the Y variable and the X variable, which again could be anything you imagine. So is the correlation between Y and X for the first data set meaningfully different, or is the difference between the correlation coefficient statistically significant than in the second data set? Well, first of all, let's document the sample size. We can just count any of the variables. So let's count the Y variable, 20 for data set one and 15 for data set two respectively. And then let's calculate the correlation coefficients. The easiest way would be to just use the corel function, the built-in Excel correlation function, calculating correlation coefficients between Y and X for the first data set and for the second data set as well. And we see that the correlation for the first data set is minus 0 0.37 and for the second data set 0 0.33. They are of different signs. So the first data set shows an inverse relationship between variables. The second data set shows a direct relationship between variables. However, the magnitude of the relationship is not that high. 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 is meaningful, yet not strong correlation. So we might want to test whether these two correlations are statistically significantly different. And to do that, we need to learn about the Fisher transformation of correlation coefficients. Well, you already know that correlation coefficients are bounded between minus one and one. And for uh, simple statistical testing, you would ideally want your variable, your test statistic to be normally distributed. And uh, correlation coefficients are, well, quite intuitively not, because first of all, they are even bounded. However, there is a very simple transformation, which is called the Fisher transformation, that allows you to convert correlation coefficients into statistics that are approximately normally distributed. And that involves taking half of the natural logarithm of the ratio of one plus the correlation coefficient divided by one minus the correlation coefficient. And this also has a very nice property that if your correlation is positive, this particular Z stat would be positive and vice versa. So here for Z1, we can input a half times the natural logarithm of one plus the correlation coefficient one, row one or R1, divided by one minus the correlation coefficient one or R1. And that returns a negative value because this particular correlation is negative. So this transformation preserves the signs of correlation coefficients and we're given a uh, Z1 value, the transformed uh, correlation coefficient value of minus 0 0.39. Then uh, we can simply drag it one cell below to calculate the respective value of the transformed second correlation coefficient, which is equal to 0 0.34 approximately. And now we can calculate our test statistic, which is simply the difference between the transformed correlation values. The test statistic is 
one is 0 0.73. However, what is the standard error of this test statistic so that we can um, use a Z test, for example, to determine statistical significance? This is approximately normally distributed with a standard deviation here equal and dependent on the sample sizes alone. And that's what makes this test so flexible and so uh, easy to use and so widely applicable. So the standard error is the square root of 1 over sample size 1 minus 3 plus 1 over sample size 2 minus 3. We enforce this formula and get a standard error of 0 0.38 approximately. These minus 3, by the way, are associated, as you might have guessed, with degrees of freedom reduction. For the Z-stat, we can divide our test statistic by the standard error and get a Z-stat of minus 1.90. Four. And then for the p-value, we'll use the two-tailed z-test, meaning that we need to multiply two times one minus the standard normal distribution of the absolute value of the z-stat. Again, we don't care about the sign, it's two-tailed, and we put one for cumulative. And then we retrieve a p-value of 5.28%, meaning that our correlation coefficients, even on such small samples, are significantly different with the difference being significant at 10%, as this p-value is less than 10%, meaning that the relationships between variables y and x in these two data sets are different, are heterogeneous, and we cannot treat those two data sets as the same. And that's all there is for the application of correlation significance test in Excel. Please leave a like on this video if you found it helpful. In the comments below, I make the same first suggestions for videos in business, finance, or economics you would like me to record. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon. Thank you very much, and stay tuned.